Welcome. Thank you for your interest in the talk I will be giving today. I realize that many of you may not know exactly what goes on at the Foothills campus of CSU. Well, we work with many different viruses. Some are mostly exotic, like Zika virus. Some are right here in Fort Collins, Colorado, like West Nile virus. I'm sure many of you have had some encounter, whether it was being infected or just keeping up with surveillance that happens over the summer. In order to work with these viruses, a specialized laboratory is needed, and this is called a biosafety level three laboratory. These are focused on providing as much safety as possible to the employees working with these viruses that are potentially harmful. Safety is the primary concern working in a BSL-3, and older machinery that may not function properly could be a safety violation. This presentation will provide a summary of a study performed in order to determine whether it is feasible to update the Biosafety Level 3 lab on the Foothills campus of CSU. The aim of these labs is to gain knowledge about many characteristics of these viruses. And on the CSU campus, on the Foothills campus, many BSL-3 laboratories are functioning. Now in these labs, there is many, many pieces of equipment that are necessary for these experiments that are out of date. And this ex equipment is expensive. However, it is important to replace for safety and credibility. And some of the viruses that we work with are yellow fever, chikungunya, dengue, and then Zika virus and West Nile virus mentioned before. The research methods of this study were to use cost of equipment, and this was determined by asking lab managers who order these items for labs, and they were asked to look at their records and other things to determine cost. Surveys were handed out to 50 Foothills campus employees, including people who work in BSL-3 labs, principal investigators who run the labs, and biosafety officers. The last thing was the research of a success or failure of other labs updating their BSL-3s. And this included whether the update was an overall success or failure, how the lab updated their facility, and what exactly they updated. The results for cost, it was determined that the absolute minimum amount of money to replace one machine of each kind would be $218,169. That doesn't include any of the single use items, daily use items, anything like that. Now, based on the surveys, the most important equipment to replace would be centrifuges, computers, humidifiers, incubators, scrubs, and forceps. And then the results from other labs showed that um, one lab was the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, Fort Collins, Colorado. They updated their phase three, and it was an overall success. They are a government institution, so they have funding that comes in more consistently and in higher numbers. Now, the University of Nevada in Reno, Nevada, also did an update, and they are a college institution, so they did not have as much money and as much consistently coming in money so they could only update some of the things that they wanted to put in their phase three so it was a somewhat success based on all of these results it was determined that overall it is not feasible to update all of the equipment in bsl3s at one time however it can be feasible to replace some equipment at one time this would reduce time and cost. Now, I hope this presentation has helped in understanding how important BSL-3 labs are and why is it essential to replace the equipment in these labs. I would like to take a moment to thank you all again for coming and answer any questions you might have.